The cloud, in its most basic form, is a magical place where the internet lives. Generally speaking, people don't really know where the cloud is exactly. One thing is for sure though, it's definitely not the same thing. Really, the cloud is just a colourful name we give to those dark and scary buildings we know nothing about. Let's call them data centres. Yes, they look all very trekky and futuristic, but the truth is they're quickly becoming the norm. And to think, it's not that long ago we had to unplug our house phone and wait 10 minutes to get on the internet, and at that point there was literally nothing on it. Lots of companies use the cloud. We all have information stored on them somewhere, one way or another. In fact, here's a list of services that you might use. So what is it exactly? Let me break it down a little. If you access something online without needing your own server, you're most likely using the cloud. In effect, if it's stored online and you're not actually storing it, it'll be cloud-based. Probably. So here's our question. Did Star Trek invent the cloud? Probably not, but we do think they had a lot to do with how computers and technologies have progressed, and to think it was all a figment of Gene Roddenberry's imagination. I suppose we should thank him, really. But really, I guess the first question to answer is what's the need for the cloud? Really, we can get by without it, as we've done for many years. But the big cheeses that run the internet simply won't let things be, and they feel the need to keep moving forward. Give it another 15 years and we'll probably have transporters. Don't quote me on that, though. Let's ask another burning question, then. Is the cloud more secure than using an external hard drive? In a word, kind of. You see, with a hard drive, you have complete control of whatever you choose to hold on it. Whether it's scans of your pay slips, old pictures of the kids, or videos from last Saturday where you had a few too many, you know where the data is. And more importantly, you know where it isn't. It's not in the hands of some cyber criminal selling it for bitcoins. On the other hand, with the cloud, let's say you beam up a photo to Flickr. It's stored on the website, right? Yes, but the storage has to be held somewhere. It can't just be online. It'll be hosted on one of their servers. Not only that, it'll be copied multiple times across multiple servers. Scary thought, huh? Not really, this is just called a backup. If their servers were to get hit by lightning, or was affected by an earthquake, or Chuck Norris karate chopped it, the other servers will simply take over. Just like magic, you won't even know what's happening. So the cloud has almost infinite backups, so you'll never lose your data. Whereas an external hard drive, you only have one, unless you buy more of course. But then you can drop it, lose it, or accidentally put it in the washing machine. But people are scared of it, because the cloud is something you can't see. Your data is just floating up there with Zeus and the giant that chased Jack down the beanstalk. Another thing the cloud has over external hard drive is encryption. Generally speaking, your external drive won't be encrypted. We can't speak for everyone, of course, but the normality is that most people don't see the need, or simply don't know how to. In any case, almost all cloud services have their shields up when it comes to this kind of stuff. They encrypt it for you, so it's pretty nice of them, really. Really, though, the major benefit of having the cloud is convenience. The fact that we don't have to carry everything around with us anymore is fantastic. Let's look back in time for a moment as we had to carry our giant laptop, all the cables, the CDs, the floppy disks, along with that giant thing we used to call a phone. Today, one device, it could be a phone, tablet or laptop, and you can access anything. You can even use a tractor beam, sort of. Infinite access from everywhere. If you have a connection, you'll have the access. And it's pretty cheap. You might be able to afford a small payment instead of the billions that companies spend to build and keep it secure. Just watch out for Chuck, though, because he can get pretty mad. And in case you're wondering, there were six Star Trek references. 